Coco Bees, it's your girl Maya Chanel. Welcome back to the channel. So today, you guys see I'm in a different location. I am where I have all of my inventory stock for Fire Drip. And today, I'm packaging the first orders for this new line. And what I did was I went ahead and ordered a thermal printer so that I don't have to sit here and have any ink or anything for that to deal with. So I went on Amazon and I purchased this Rolo thermal printer, um, label printer actually. So we're gonna do an unboxing on this today and a review because we will be testing it out with our first orders. Now, one thing that I did not do was order the labels. <laughs> so um, I believe they have a few sample labels in here that I'll be able to work with. But if not, I'll just have to wait until Wednesday to actually like print out these orders but I do want to at least get some of them out there today since they've already so I'll just have to like use the regular printer if so um but yeah so they have shipping discounts that come in here um I guess a support something for support um I guess these are like tips on how to use it and then they give you, okay, yep. So they give you a good amount of sample labels here, along with some alcohol pads. And I guess we'll see what that is for. Um, let's see what comes in here. The packaging is really nice, I'll say that. Adapter. So you have your Rolo adapter. So I'm gonna hook that up so I can plug that in. So yes, you do need a power source when using this. And it's actually smaller than I thought it would be. So that's really good too, cause it's space saving. Cause I mean, look, this is really not big at all. This is a pretty decent size. So we got our Rolo. And we're gonna see how to use this. I hope I don't mess up because I don't have a whole lot to waste. <laughs> so let's just hope that we get this right on the first try. <laughs> so basically this just, this little sheet just tells you that you need to change the size of the label so that you're printing on the, the correct size paper. And we're gonna set that all up. I have my laptop out here and we're gonna get this ready so that we can package these orders. So first things first. Let me open this up. And then they say I need to go to the website to set it up. Roll.com set up. They actually give me a pretty decent amount. I hope these are blank because, okay, yeah, perfect. They give me a pretty decent amount so I can probably package a good amount of orders today with this. Um, they give you a user guide. So this is really good because I probably don't even need to go to the website now. But it says that I probably should. Okay. So let's see here. So I have to like set this up and install it on my computer. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to show you guys how I'm doing that with the screen recording. All right, y'all, so the first thing it says is like go to Rolo slash setup. Um, they also have the driver installed. So I'm on the Mac, so I need to install the Mac driver so that it basically gives you the software to be able to operate the Rolo thermal printer. Um, I also had to plug in on three, I mean, two parts. I had to plug in the power adapter, which is here, I believe, and this is connected to my computer. It's a USB cord that they send you, so if you don't have an adapter, you might need to get one. Um, I know a lot of the newer Macs do not have those ports ready and available, so make sure you do, do get an adapter to be able to put those into your computer, put this device and set it up in your computer. All right, y'all, so what I'm doing is I am installing this driver. All right, trash that installer because it will be taking up a lot of your memory, and we don't need that. So now we need to, now that we have that installed, we need to print the sample. Oh, I have to make sure that I have this printer set up in here too. So let me open up my settings. Um, Printers and scanners. 
And then I need to make sure that I add this printer. All right, so I had to make sure my printer was on. Um, it wasn't plugged in all the way. So let me click on this, select this, they say, and then after that, select software. All right, so you gotta make sure you choose the right software, which is Rolo Printer. So I'm gonna go ahead and choose that. And I think that is it, so add. Installed incorrectly, okay, just repair it, child. I don't know what this thing got going on today, but we gonna get it together, okay? We are going to get it together. So let's let that repair and we'll be right back. All right, so hopefully I have this set up correctly. I don't know why it's just saying four by six and a half, but we're gonna see, make sure it comes out right. Um, so what it says to do, I set up the printer, um, label setup, turn the printer off, press the side release. I'm guessing they already have this in here, so I'm just gonna like, kind of like see if it prints. Um, so let's see. Fingers crossed. I don't know what it's gonna do. All right, so it is blinking red right now, so I'm not sure what that means, y'all. I'm gonna troubleshoot this, just give me a second. So it says if it's flashing red, uh, okay, so it means that there is a paper shortage. So <laughs> let me just add this other paper in there. So label set up to initially the automatic label. Please follow these steps, turn the printer off which I've just done, press the side release button, which is here, I think, let's just see that, side release. So make sure that the paper starts at the back where the cords are. And yeah, make sure that, it also says to make sure that this label, the part that you peel off, is facing upwards. Make sure that these are flush against it, and we're going to close it. So I think we're good to go if it's like that. Um, I just wanna make sure that I have it turned back on and then it says to press and hold this until you hear one beat. So it's basically kind of like adjusted itself where it needs to be. So now let's print this label and see if it comes out correctly. Oh, we did not do that right. Okay. <laughs> what in the world is going on? Okay, maybe I need to see a preview or something. Like. I'm gonna figure this out and I will be right back so that I won't waste all these labels on y'all. <laughs> all right, y'all, so I actually figured it out now. Um, basically, like, I don't know why, but on the Adobe PDF app, it kind of like made it wonky, but this one right here actually made it where it printed correctly and I just kind of printed it right over that same label so that we didn't waste any. But now I am going to actually print out a few labels from my Shopify store so that we can get those orders packaged. Well, first of all, okay, there we go. Change the format to thermal printer, four by six, save, print shipping label, get rid of this one. And then things should be on the way now. <laughs> we should be good to go once we get this set up. Okay, so there we go. Change it to four by six, we have it, and then And there we go, we have our first label for our first package. So I hope this was helpful for you guys. I will put the link in below for this Robo printer. It's great, no ink needed. It's very simple and easy to use once you get the hang of it. So um, um, I hope these instructions help you. I hope my struggle helped you and just showing you guys how you can make um, your shipping and things easier for your, your business. So until next time, it's your girl Maya Chanel and I'll see you guys on the next video.